These are some new tutorials on how to build the nightstand in SketchUp and I wanted to create some new ones uh, to make it a little bit easier on my students to uh, draw the nightstand in SketchUp. The first thing I do is start with a tape measure tool. Uh, make sure that you have go to camera um, actually let's see here we want to go to window <coughs> model info and we want to make sure in this precision box that 1 16th is showing and the rest of it uh, can look just like this box here uh, sometimes it can be set to 1 32nd or 1 64th and the smallest dimension we go down to is 1 16th so we want that set if your large tool set isn't showing go to um, View Toolbars uh, Large Tool Set and make sure that's checked and you'll get this box along this edge here. <coughs> okay, so grab your tape measure tool over here, click on this red axis, and if there's no plus sign, hit your option key on a Apple and control key on the PC. And we're going to type in two, and that gives us a two inch guideline to draw some parts on. We'll start with the top and the top is going to be 16 comma uh, 12.5 16 inches uh, in length according to the grain direction of our wood and 12 and a half inches wide. We will push pull this up to three-fourths of an inch because all of our wood that we're using uh, for this particular project is three-fourths except the uh, parts for the drawer box. I want to um, use my pan tool. You can press down on shift control and the scroll button to get it to pan. The scroll button will also, you push down on it, you can turn it like so, or you can zoom in and out with your scroll button. Okay. It's very helpful to watch some beginning tutorials from SketchUp itself on Google uh, to learn how to use the the mouse. All right. Once we have this drawn, grab your selector tool and draw a box from the top left down around it, and right click and make that. I'm going to actually make this a component in case I would want to make more of these. If I just want one of something, I'd make a a group because I can edit a group or a component later on. But I'm going to make this a component. Okay, and we'll call this the top and create. I'm now going to move that up. Um, let's see. Gotta think about how tall our nightstand is. I want to move it up at least 23 and 7 eighths to kind of get it out of the way. So I'm going to grab this move tool. And right here on this bottom, I'm going to go up and see that blue line. We want to see that, and we're going to type in 23 and 7 eighths, space 7 eighths, which is taller than we need. If it disappears, just go camera, zoom extents, and you'll see all my other drawings out here that I've done uh, for this project uh, to make this easier later on. Okay, and there's our top. Okay, you're looking at the top trim, or the top, and notice my red axis is here, my blue is here, and the green goes like so. Sometimes people get these mixed up and start drawing this way, or they draw outside of this. We want to stay just like this, with our drawing inside this um, triangle or quadrant you might say. Okay. Um, we need the pencil tool or the line tool and we'll start drawing our top trim. Click on the front or the uh, the top right back come out on the red axis 0.75 come down the green axis 
and the red axis now come out 17.5 and then back on the green 13.25 click on the back right corner front left top corner the right corner and the back right corner it changes color because we've created a shape that we can now push pull down and our top trim is an inch and a half so we go 1.5 downward push down your scroll button and rotate around zoom into this edge right here select your arc tool and on this top edge come over a little bit come down and just click somewhere and when it turns blue I click and I'm going to click again here somewhere and then right there okay and this is to create a decorative edge choose the follow me tool click right here and see that red line going along the edge there just drag your mouse zoom out a little bit with your scroll button and pan to where you can see rotate and I'm just moving my mouse not click not clicking down or pressing down on anything yet when I get to this corner over here I left click and I have a decorative edge and that's called the follow me tool and you notice if I click on just the top I can now move this out of the way because it's not part of that that I just drew so if I come back around here using my rotate tool I'm going to push push that out of the way and I'm actually going to make this a group and hope I can use it later uh, for my bottom trim. So let's make that a group and call it, uh, actually it didn't ask me to call it anything did it. So that's a group. Okay. You'll see all my other pieces to the drawing out there. Now to connect these back together I can just zoom in here and it's very important where I select my piece to move. If I'm in the move tool and I grab this top right corner and it's going to go right in here to that corner right there. Okay. And there we go. So now that's uh, together. If I wanted to uh, make a copy of it, hit the control key or option on a Apple computer. There's a copy of my trim. And there's a copy of the top. And those can just kind of hang out there uh, for dimensioning purposes later. Okay, that completes the top and the top trim.